Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISE 2015 in Amsterdam, and we're taking advantage of the fact that we're at a trade show and everybody's already set up, ready to start their uh, day. And I've come into the DMP booth because I want to show you something that is super important. DMP is one of the only screen manufacturers that can actually do this, and this is something that every uh, integrator needs to know about. There's a new standard for contrast ratio for systems from Infocom. Infocom is the association that sort of is overall uh, uh, the commercial AV industry. They've partnered with ANSI and they've come up with a standard together known as PISCAR, Projected Image Systems Contrast Ratio. That's the contrast ratio that's required for different type of system installations. Not just the projected image, but the the contrast ratio for, all the, for the system. So imagine if you're doing a classroom that is specific for medical imaging. There's actually a standard contrast ratio they expect to have come off that uh, in the room. There's three different ways that you can improve contrast ratio. Number one is get rid of all the lights. Well, that isn't going to happen. You're not going to have all the rooms in the future built with no lights. The second way is to get a brighter projector. The problem with getting a brighter projector is that helps the whites, doesn't help the blacks. You lose, you lose the colorimetry. The third way is to get a better screen. And let me, t let me demonstrate what I mean. So a typical screen that you'd see in installation is one like this. And what the contrast ratio of an image like this is going to be totally dependent on what you're projecting out of the projector. It has nothing to do with anything else. So for example, when I take this flashlight and shine it on this screen, regardless of where I shine it from, so most lights come from overhead, and you can see from the lights that are up over here, all the light that's coming from overhead is being reflected off the screen, almost like a mirror in a way. But if I take a look at this screen here, from DMP, when I, when I look at how light, ambient light specifically, is projected most of the time on a screen from above, look how the light disappears. Not all of it, only 90% of it. That's a big difference though, because instead of having all that light coming from the front of the room, the ambient light in the room, when I angle it here, where a light source would normally be, what's happening is actually the light is actually being absorbed. The ambient light is actually being absorbed, and the only light that's coming out, for the most part, is the projected light. So we're actually increasing contrast ratio with the screen. Now, DNP sort of invented the ambient light rejection screen. When I come over here, we have an even a screen that even does a better job at eliminating light. So in this case, what you're doing is you're actually improving contrast ratio by changing your screen. So you don't actually have to get a brighter projector, which isn't going to solve the problem with colorimetry. It's actually going to make it worse. You don't have to turn off all the lights in the room, and now you've met the standard that is an ANSI and an Infocom standard. This is a big deal. There are a lot of companies out there that make screens. There are not a whole lot of companies out there that can do this, and this is their specialty. DNP came onto the market specifically with and exclusively for light rejection, ambient light rejection screen technology, and they've got a lot of different ways of doing it. Obviously, I can't show you all around this this stand here at ISE, but and when you're at a future show, you should check it out, and of course, check out DMP uh, online. But they have screens of all imaginable sizes for just about every application front screen and rear screen uh, light rejection material, so it's not just rear screen. In the early days it was just rear screen material and everybody was familiar with that, but now they have front screen and rear screen material, and they even now are, are launching a new sort of technology showcase of something coming in the future, and that is the ability to not only do this on a single projection uh, application, but also on a projection a project, projection application where you're gonna where you're gonna um, map two projectors together. Are you gonna seam two projected projectors together to form a larger, higher resolution image? And for that matter, you could do as many as you want, not just two. This is a big deal because think about all the applications where you're going to put projectors where there's high ambient light environments. The convention center is one example of that and just about every meeting room. No one wants to sit in a meeting room in the dark and there's a big difference when you look at the amount of light coming in here here like this now and the amount of light that's rejected with the screen material. So that's not all the light that goes away but a significant amount that it improves the contrast. And you can see it just by looking at these images without even me standing in the way. So this is DNP. Check them out. You already know them. You've been, you're familiar with them for years. You've probably already thought of them as only that high-end screen manufacturer that uses rear screen applications, but no, it's not. They have front screen and rear screen materials, and this is a great demo. And if you're looking to meet that ANSI and Infocom specification, this is the way to do it. This is Gary Kay from ISE 2015. Thanks for watching.